I understand the government has also decided to limit state-provided accommodation for Ukrainian people to 90 days. Taoiseach, it's this issue of accommodation that I particularly want to focus on because I am very concerned about it. We have, as you know, a major embedded housing capacity problem in Ireland. And I raise the question of housing with you, Taoiseach, more than any other single issue, uh, week in and week out here in the Dáil. Indeed, it's the issue raised with me on the ground more than any other single uh, issue. So let me ask you two questions. Firstly, where will incoming Ukrainian people be housed for those 90 days? Where is the capacity and where is the plan for temporary accommodation? And secondly, where do they go after the 90 days are up? Will they have to, Taoiseach, find a home within the general housing system, a system that's already at breaking point? Am I to understand that they'll have to find a place in the private rental sector? Taoiseach, people can't find rented accommodation for love nor money, and when they do, the rents are extortionate. Yeah. Or will Ukrainian people be given a tent and told to take their chances on the streets, Taoiseach? I'm sure we can agree that that simply would not be acceptable and would not work. So where is your plan? Can you outline it in some detail? Because government decisions are taken at a time when the housing system is broken, overwhelmed and creaking at the seams. People want to do the right thing, have done the right thing, want to help those fleeing the horror of war. They want their government to do the right thing, but above all else, they want their government to have a plan. That plan, that capacity has been absent and our housing system has come under even greater pressure. So Taoiseach, you've taken your decisions today at Cabinet. Can you now explain, in respect of everything that I have outlined, how is this plan going to actually work? Under the new arrange arrangements, uh, anybody arriving from Ukraine uh, seeking temporary protection uh, will be provided with state uh, accommodation, just as they are now, uh, will be provided with state accommodation However, we can only guarantee up to 90 days. Uh, and during that period, we will work with them, uh, work with NGOs and work with others uh, to assist them to find their own accommodation. Uh, many different uh, uh, possibilities arise. It, once the 90 days uh, are up, um, and if uh, people then move out, or even before then uh, move out, uh, they will be assessed for social welfare, uh, as any Irish citizen would be, or any uh, EU citizen that satisfies the habitual residence clause. So that is social welfare, uh, including uh, eligibility for the rent allowance. Um, but the situation is that accommodation uh, is scarce uh, and the numbers coming in remain very large. Uh, and we are making this change uh, with that in mind. Thank you for that, uh, Taoiseach. And can I uh, agree with you that the, uh, the welcome that has been displayed to people from uh, Ukraine, I think, has marked us uh, very, very well? And I have no doubt that that will continue. As I said, people unquestionably want to do the right thing and want us collectively to do the right thing. In response to what you've correctly uh, described as the biggest uh, movement of people since the Second uh, World uh, War, and you have also correctly noted that accommodation is scarce. Uh, but Tishik, what you haven't set out for us is the plan for temporary accommodation for Ukrainian people coming. Where, where will they be? Where will they stay for the 90 days? And then crucially, where do they go after 90 days? Um, do you expect or do you anticipate that they would seek uh, accommodation in the private uh, rental sector? Um, that is already at breaking point. Um, what is your plan? What, what are your plans in terms of accommodating people? In everything that you've said, and let me appreciate the fact that you've clarified the government decisions, but I am very, very concerned that there is no plan to accommodate in, for temporary purposes or indeed when the 90 days expire.